For me, there's a big difference between reading about a place in a book and being there in person. What it feels to stand in front of it, to touch it, to discover something about it. All of a sudden, it comes alive to me. How you doing? Oh, hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing this big walking project. We're walking every block of the five boroughs. So it's like a mission? Yeah, it's a mission. Aren't you tired? I'm a little tired. The people in the world who captivate me the most are people who do something just because they want to do it. Maybe the other people think it's stupid. It's helped me find more satisfaction in the basic stuff of life. I don't have an apartment. Cat sitting is one way that I find places to stay. Nat started doing a ton of research. This house, this building, this fence. He found the thing, he got curious about it. He can stay up all night reading newspapers from the 1800s. I sometimes questioned whether it was healthy, all that isolation that he would do with his walk. I thought it was gonna take maybe, you know, two to two and a half years, but that was almost five years ago now. <laughs>I feel like it's just the perfect way to kind of explore the world. Let's go! Good to meet you all. Matt, 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 Matt. Let's see where this ends up taking me. When you meet a person, you become much more interested in them. <laughs> come in, come in. I think it's the same thing with, you know, a city. Whoa. It's an actual place where you stood and you felt something there. You know what used to be right over here? You get beat up? Never got beat up, never got mugged. Unless you're about to mug me. <laughs>